Well, mission accomplished for the Escott Park Hotel Southern Steel during the week. They are through to the grand final of the ANZ Premiership where they'll take on the Central Pulse. And so one of the keys will be this lady who joins us live from the massage table. You can probably hear in the background. She's being worked on as we speak. Uh, Tahi Oinga Rio, Salby Rickett. Who, you're, uh, how is the body? Uh, it's feeling really good at the moment. Um, it wasn't so much after last night's game, but um, yeah, it's about looking forward now and getting everything recovered and ready for Sunday's game. Pretty physical, you know, when you two sides yeah. line up, eh? Gee, at both ends, boy, you're banging each other around. Yeah, it's, honestly, it's almost what it's come to. It's, you, you, when you're playing against such, um, like for us in the defensive, those tall shooters, and you can't quite reach the ball, you've got to kind of try to psych them out by doing other things. And, um, yeah, so for us, it's really putting physical pressure on the, the passer and also on the receiver and try to, you know, force a couple of mistakes, which we were lucky enough to do a couple of times last night. Yeah, no doubt about that. Hey, so listen, tell us about that atmosphere there, because we all know that there was that extra layer of emotion with Wynn's uh, last game, you know, in front of a uh, home crowd. How, I mean, how much, even though I know she would have tried to play it down, how much from a team yeah. point of view did that did that sort of play into things uh, on Wednesday night? Yeah, it was huge, actually. I mean, there was all that kind of build-up um, throughout the week, which we kind of really got really excited about, but I didn't actually realise until, yet yeah, that crowd, like, on some of the screaming that was going on, I've never heard the whole time I've been playing there. I remember one play, I, I remember player got it, and she didn't, Jen was free under the goal, yes. and she didn't pass it in. We weren't happy about that. <laughs> Did you, you remember that? I do. The crowd shrieked, and she ended up passing it back to me. I've never heard a, a sound like that, and at that point I was kind of like, even though we had made a mistake, I kind of felt like, oh, good, this, if this crowd can get this amp, at this point of the game, it was like the start of the third quarter or something. I know when it gets to the end of that fourth, yeah. they're going to be fizzing. And they really, really were. They really kind of brought it home for us in the end there. It just, we knew how important it was to get that elimination final at home. And it just proved it last night with that crowd because they really, you know, pushed us through to the end. Yeah, awesome. no doubt about that. So, so it was one of those situations you got out to a handy lead. What, you're up by yeah. sort of five or six and then you sort yeah. of got the speed wobbles a little bit too. So, uh, I mean, talk talk to us about, uh, were you composed? Were you feel, felt good about it the whole way through? <laughs> I wouldn't say we felt great about it the whole way through. I think that happened a couple of times, actually. Uh, I think it was in the second we got another handy lead and we lost it. But, um, yeah, we kind of pride ourselves on being able to keep our heads in the last uh, minutes of the game. Um, we're sort of known for it. We've been a couple of slip-ups this year, but we kind of know if we can kind of keep calm and really play to the time, really play it down, we can get it in the end. And as I said, the crowd were huge last night and really kind of, even though they were screaming, I kind of felt calm. Um, in those last couple of minutes, and we knew if we just kind of scored our own, and us they had to maybe turn over. It was honestly just one ball that we could yeah get over the line in the end, and we did. So we were stoked. Another big night for Jen O'Connell, eh? I mean, we had her on the show last week, but boy, uh, you know, 38 out of 40, under pressure yeah. uh, as well, having to shoulder, uh, you know, the, a, a good chunk of that uh, responsibility. Boy, that's yeah. uh, that's a big step forward for a young lady going places, eh? It is. It is. It's, it's, I guess we've um, asked a lot of her this year um, with Janelle leaving, and she's kind of stepped up. Even like, every single game, she's got better. Um, I think for like Gina, Shannon, and Pryor, it's their kind of job to just get her the ball and get her in the most uh, like comfortable position they possibly can. And I know she gets smacked. <laughs> she probably gets smacked in the face and all over a lot, but she does. She's getting so much better at pulling that ball in. And all she's, we, we kind of want her to focus on just, you know, getting comfortable and just putting the shots up and knowing that if she misses, that Pye's there for the rebound and Gina and Shannon there on the circle edge if she needs. Um, and so hopefully she feels, she wasn't too nervous. I know she was, but um, it didn't really show last night, which is great. And hopefully, yeah, we get another step up from her next week because it's an even bigger game, but I'm sure she'll rise to the occasion. So we're excited. <laughs> for Absolutely. It. Now, and what about the young lady you got beside you down your end, Courtney Elliott? Oh, I know. <laughs> she's in here at the moment, so I can't talk her up too much. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she's been great. Um, it's funny, it, it doesn't feel like she just joined us this start of, uh, what, two days before our first game. Yeah. She's spotted in really nicely. She's really annoying most of the time off the court, but um, <laughs> on the court, she yeah, she's doing the job at the moment. So, yeah, we're really stoked to have her. And you've got a great combination going, you two, eh? I mean, you must be feeling good about how things are uh, are rolling for you personally as well. Yeah, we definitely always have work on, but um, that's good. You, you, <laughs> Wendy tries to say, and Shannon, that it's all the work out front, but um, that's what it's about. It's the whole unit. If our one person in the unit isn't working or it's not going well, then it kind of breaks us all down. So we're really keen on you know coming together and working together, and that's our favourite way to get forward. 
All right, and so now Pulse on uh, Sunday afternoon. I mean, uh, tell us about that. You, I guess it depends a little bit about the shooting combination you'll be uh, up against. It'll either be the two youngsters or Amelia and uh, Ikenazio, obviously, who stood up last week uh, for them as yeah. well. So uh, how much does that sort of play to, to, to I guess, looking at the, the combination that you'll potentially be up against? Oh, it's huge. I mean, we, we played them, um, obviously, in that dreadful 31 loss game. We were really down, and then we kind of had to really do a lot of analysis and completely change the way we play, which we did for the, the game we ended up winning down here, which is great, but we're going to have to do it again because, as you said, they've changed. You know, Amelia has stepped up uh, a lot and she's really come into play now, and so we've had to look at ways to combat her. And there's always a Leah there who's shooting at, what, 90-something percent. Um, yep. And so, yeah, for us, it's really doing the analysis and seeing where we can kind of break some links because they, that's what they do. They have a really good combination between the feeders and the shooters. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be watching a lot of video and seeing how we can just like disrupt because you know you're not going to get it every time but if you just kind of do little things to annoy them then um, hopefully that forces some turnovers What do you put that turnaround down to? I mean what did you do differently second time round that that made such a marked difference? I mean you can understand if you're swinging at sort of you know a, a 10 goal <laughs> difference but a 30 goal turnaround is a, is, yeah. is a bit of a turn up That honestly that, that loss was like it hurt a lot of us. It was. I don't think a lot of us. I don't think any of us actually had lost by that much, um, ever. And so it was a combination of a lot of things. It was we weren't doing our job on D. We all threw the ball away uh, throughout the court. Um, and so one, we knew we had to look after the ball. We had to uh, kind of give clear options because we were running with the person on our backs and they were tipping it. And it was just it was just pretty ugly. So um, yeah, we just had to tighten up on D. And as I said, force little turnovers and know that we're not going to get every ball, but if we just kind of pressure, 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 that kind of forces turnovers in the end. So that's what we did. And hopefully we can do that again on Sunday. Yeah, roll that out again. That'll be quite good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, the chance to send wins out a winner, I suppose yeah. that'll, that'll that'll kind of come up in conversation these next few days, won't it? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, we, all enjoy, we, all, we all enjoy ripping on her, so the <laughs> more it comes up in conversation, the better it is for us because we can just talk about her even more. She hates it, but we love it, so that's the main thing. Um, I know her whole family's coming up, and so it's got to, it's not going to be quite like in Chicago, but we'll try to make it as much like in Chicago as we can. Um, I'm lucky enough to be from kind of the Palm area. I played most of my netball, pretty much all my netball. They're all my club netball, and so hopefully I can get some friends and relatives and they're up there to I'll get those windy faces that we wore at training and get all them to wear them just to she'll love that so I'll try and do that for her. Hey good stuff mate well done on the effort this week uh, a, a great step forward and can't wait to uh, to see what you uh, lay out on court on uh, Sunday afternoon all the best for the preparation between now and then who? Yeah thanks hopefully we bring it home.